Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Sailing with Scott. Today, we're going to show you how to pick up a mooring at Catalina Island aboard Wonderlust, a 2018 Beneteau Oceanus 38.1. This is what I like to call my own boat, but just fractionally, as I do share it with six other members through Sail Time, Orange County. I do love racing, as many of my videos are aboard other vessels, but I also really just enjoy cruising and being on the water. One of my favorite sailing adventures includes sailing from Newport Beach to Catalina Island, and we do it several times each year. Spend a night, or two, or three, and live on the boat in Avalon Bay or two harbors on the Isthmus. Catalina Island is 25 to 33 nautical miles from the coast of Southern California, depending on where you depart. It's approximately 26 nautical miles from Newport Beach to Avalon Harbor. And I wish I could show you some sailing, but the wind was just not in our favor for this adventure. And although we enjoyed the day, the breezes just never really filled in due to the Santa Ana winds that have been hanging around Southern California for the past couple of weeks. So we ended up motoring. But that's okay, as I like to remind myself, any day on the water is a better day. Upon arrival at the mouth of the harbor, we were greeted by the harbor patrol to check in and get a mooring ball assignment. Moorings are available on a first come, first serve basis. We must provide three pieces of information. Our vessel documentation number, the name of our boat, and the length of the boat. Payment for the mooring can be made in cash or by credit card. As we make our way down the fairway, we're keeping an eye out for mooring ball number 88. Each mooring ball has a number stenciled on it, and our ball, number 107, is in row 3, which starts with ball number 88. Racing against the sun, which was setting today at around 4.30 p.m., we ended up using our Yanmar 40 horsepower engine, and at about 2,500 RPMs, made it over in just four and a half hours. Once we've spotted ball number 88, we start our starboard turn into the third line of moorings. Speed and steering play a crucial part for us to get to our spot in the harbor. We're continually going into forward gear with the throttle and back to neutral, maintaining just enough momentum to slowly make our way. Vinny and Jen stand on the bow of the boat and help direct me at the helm using Regina as a communications relay. As we approach the pin, or pickup pole, for our mooring ball, we turn on our bow thruster just in case we need it. Slow and steady, foot by foot, inch by inch, we continue forward without needing the bow thruster this time. Jen reaches over the bow pulpit and grabs the pin, and Vinny starts pulling up the bow hauser, which is attached to the sand line sitting on the floor of the harbor. The bow hauser is a big heavy loop which Vinny will attach to our port side bow cleat and will hold the bow of the boat in place. He then walks the sand line back towards the stern of the boat until he reaches the stern hauser, another heavy-duty line with a loop on it. 
It's attached to the sand line, which lays on the floor of the harbor. Vinny pulls up the stern hauser until he's able to attach it to the stern cleat. Man, it's... <laughs> How are you feeling, Vinny? I'm good. Good job. Woo! <laughs> As he pulls up the stern hauser, the stern of the boat swings to the starboard as we straighten out and into our final position. And as the sun gets low in the sky, the engine is then finally turned off as we have secured Wonderlust in for the evening. So we motored all the way over to Avalon, Catalina Island from Newport. It took us four and a half hours at six and a half knots, which is really good got in here just before sunset and uh, got all moored up. Thanks for sailing with Scott. See you next time! <laughs>